Yeah, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, this is Brian Bennett. Yeah, um, I'm live. Yeah, and I'm thanking God for that. For this lovely evening to speak to you, my wonderful friends, family, and everyone. Yeah, um, I'm a child of God who was baptized and saved by the grace of God yeah and was filled with the Holy Spirit and thing yeah um the issues that I want to talk to you about is that tonight is that in the midst of our crisis and our struggles we must not just wait till when we are in our crisis or our struggles we must give thanks to the, the Lord we must always give thanks to God every time from we wake up in the morning we must give thanks give thanks to him always give thanks give thanks for everything that he's done for me because is because of Jesus Christ our savior and our reigning king our true true king of KR king who died on the cross to save me from all sins who wash away all of the negatives from our heart and everything so through him that everything we do is possible if it's not if never jesus dying on the cross to save our sins are trying to protect we from all of those things we would be no one right now so we have to give thanks to him we must not always praying praying when things is going wrong or bad bad because the reason why i say this you know is sometimes you have some people who wait till when them reach in a situation are certain situation they are going through some problem some things that is causing them downfall that they start to call upon christ's name which they must not just call upon christ's name in vain that way alone they must always calling upon him every time if you wake up in the morning you must give him thanks you must praise him every time because he is the la is the true the truth and the light to everything and as in john john 14 chapter 14 verse 1 say where he say let not your heart be troubled believe believe in god believe also in me me and verse 2 say i am the father the house of many room if if it was not so would I have told you that I will prepare a place for you? What he is trying to say is that from long as we obey his words, obey his word and his commandment and seek for his true loving that he gave to us, as a Christian that he will 
prepare a place in his father's place for us so as a young christian trying to know christ for ourselves we must not just think about when we in the situation of troubles we're going to just pray up and god are praise him because we in that situation and we want to try for him to forget we out of that situation we must always praying and asking father god give we thanks because if we say we success in something like getting a dream house we must give thanks for that because if it's not jesus christ that was planning that way for us to get in that dream house we could not get it we could not reach those dreams and those goals so in every means of situation that we are going through or everything that we are planning we must put jesus christ in front of us because he is the way that we will make it true because he as what he say that he is the light the truth and the light so any man shall come to um, to his father he have to come to him so we must not just because we're going through certain situation we can pray um we can to say all right then father god yeah if you do this for us we can to get saved or we can to praise you or we can to pray to you more no we must always pray always because the most powerful weapon as a christian is for as a christian is prayer and i tell you if we consistent pray and pray the right way um, to our loving god he will answer to us no matter how long it may take he will answer because he is a caring and loving god he always 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 and time and he always go he always deliver in the right time so we know we must not say that oh we are praying so long and god not do things away we must patient be patient and humble humble as a humble servant in his words and obey his words and his commands meant because i say that for the fact that he is the one that will make everything because before we as person come and hurt here all of the plan future planning and goals that for our life that we was designed was designed by god he know our plan already he know our situation he know our pain he know everything that we may go through in life you see he know the struggles that we can go and sometimes the struggles that we may go through is just a simple problem and sometimes father test we to see how willing we are and how obey we are to him 
because sometimes you know sometimes we are asking father god for some situation um certain things and but we still not obeying his word we still not doing the things that we supposed to do as a christian we still going out there fornicate doing things that is not right we still trying we still having sex we still doing all of those stuff what is not right so before we can get that answer our prayer we have to change our ways try to walk in the positive ways and the righteous way of god because that's the only way god came to answer our prayer in the right way and we have to be patient we have to be patient we can't just all right say we ask god for something and expect it going to happen overnight he is a patient god and a willing full god he will do things for us as long as us wait so we need to just give thanks for everything that we achieve in life so if tomorrow we get up and that it's happened that we achieve a car we have to give thanks if we achieve to get a new work or say we get some new funds in our account we have to give thanks no matter how small is it we have to give thanks sometimes we are bawling and saying that we are struggling and this and that 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 and finance problem and all of that but we have to give thanks for the little that we have because a lot of others may go into worse situation than us and they have to bear it so we have to give thanks for the little while it keep on growing and growing and growing and growing till god bless us with more so that is what we have to do we must not just get a worrying as a christian and saying that oh god not doing this for me and all of that and hey, hey. no we must be humble and patient we must be humble and patient as a servant of god and always try to pray and giving thanks giving thanks and the reason for this is everything that we obtain in life our success in life it's not here to stay because the reason why i say this and i say this for far is tomorrow we can get up and lose all we can go back straight back to square one square one which we don't have nothing nothing so what we're gonna do we're gonna just stay back and say oh we lost we have to give thanks we have to praise him every day praise him for the bread that he put in us Give thanks for the oxygen. Give thanks for the life. Because we feel not because of him. We could not be here. And it's because of his grace and his mercy and his love for us. We are here today to cherish all of these beautiful things that he create and heard for us to, to manifest so what we need is to be humble 
and try to understand his word and obey his word and his commandment and try to walk in the righteous way as a Christian person and try to do the things that is right right and stop being a person that doing things wrong and then expect that God going to make a change in your life when you are doing things that is not right of God as a child of God. You need to change your ways, your hobbies, everything you need to change. Change. As a child of God, person to see if a person out there as a non-Christian supposed to can look at you and say, oh yes, Mr. Bennett look like he's a child of God, he's a person who changed now, he's, yeah, a lot of things. They supposed to see that image bringing out from deep within. So, we must stop pretend we must stop doing things that is not right because uh, we need we need to be humble as a servants of God and give thanks for everything that we achieve in life yeah and this this is my few little message that I want to give to young Christian coming up and young convert in the church that me struggling, struggling and saying things that saying that they don't know if they're gonna make it and this and that. No, don't give up. Just stay, stay in Christ. Because it's the best place you can stay right now. He is our reigning king. Through him, everything is possible. What we need is to understand his word for ourselves, understand it, and try to pray more, ask him in to guide us, protect us, draw us more to Him so we can understand Him more and get to know Him more. That we need to do. Pray more. Give thanks to Him every day. Every day as we get up in the morning, we give thanks. Don't stop. Give thanks. Just praying, praying, praying. No matter, no matter if you go at work and your friend then maybe say things about you and her saying that oh he might act like him too holy no give thanks give thanks don't stop praying in your God just continue 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 because he's working on you working on you and he know know what he have in store for you that's why he call you. That's why he seek out for you. Because he know the blessing that he have for you in your life. And what he planning for you. So you have to give thanks for everything. No matter what the situation are, the troubles that you in. You have to give thanks. See? Sometimes you may go home and your supervisor may deal with you a certain way and you feel a bad ass certain way. But as a child of God, we have to be humble humble and try to obey the word of God and try 
not to get angry. You see, we just have to stay still and make the Lord prevail and do his work because he is the one going to take you out of the troubles and the tribulation that you may in. Because sometimes the devil try to put temptation in your ways to try to draw you out as a young Christian. Not evil, not evil as a young Christian, as a whole um, person who in the faith of God. Sometimes the devil come in your way trying to tempt you, trying to do things that is not of God trying to get you out. But what you have to do is trying to pray. You have to pray, pray, pray and ask Father God for thanks, thanks, thanks. Protect you and everything and give you the strength and the guidance to walk in faith and to be humble. That's the only solution that you can to be perfect as a child of God. So, I just want you all to not just take this message that I say for granted, but listen to it clearly and understand the words and try to make a difference in your life make a difference in your life today and all who don't save and don't baptize God is calling you he is calling you come Come and give your life to him. Don't wait till it's too late. Don't wait till when you are on your dying bed. Give it to him now. While you are here. So, thank you all to listen for this message. And I bless you and I hope that someone learn from this and get some understanding and knowledge from it and i bless you all and i hope that god bless you all and you all continue to praise in your god and get to know him more and walk in the righteous way so respect one love love you all bye